こんにちはモダンテーブルゲーマーのクラウス・ピーターと申しますどうぞよろしくお願いします今日はキング・オブ・トキオのゲームを勉強するのはスタートですトキオ is a game designed by Richard Garfield, the creator of Magic the Gathering. In the game King of Tokyo, players get to take on the role of mega monsters, and as mega monsters, they try to win in two different ways. One is they can try to earn recognition by tromping on Tokyo and trying to earn you know, recognition by doing disastrous things, and they earn 20 victory stars and they win. Or the other way a monster could win is if they are the last monster standing. Before we get into gameplay, let's first look at the components and show you the simple setup. Huh? First, take your board, stick it on the table, have each player choose their monster. Each player takes their monster and puts them on their stand. Start your monsters outside of Tokyo City or Tokyo Bay. Shuffle your cards and place them in a pile, easy reach of all players, and flip three face up by the board. These will be the first three cards that players can purchase. Next, give these counters, these small round tokens. Those go next to your cards as they're only used with the cards. Take your dice out of the box. The black dice get used on every turn. The green dice only get used when you have the cards that say extra head. Then take your green energy cubes and put them in a pile next to the board and we're ready to play. In the game of King of Tokyo, each player starts their turn by rolling the dice. First they roll, and when they get the result, final result, then they resolve the dice. After they resolve the dice, they have the opportunity to buy a card or cards, and then they end their turn and play passes clockwise around the table until one of the monsters gets to 20 victory stars 
or one monster is the last monster standing. So let's talk about the dice rolling. When the players start rolling the dice, they roll the dice, they get to keep what they want and re-roll the others. So counting their first roll, they actually get three rolls. They roll once, they can keep some, re-roll the others, they roll again, they can keep some or re-roll the ones they kept, and then they can finally roll one more time. After that third roll, they have to keep their result. So let's look at the dice and we have three numbers on the dice, one, two, and three. We're gonna talk about the numbers first. The numbers equal victory points, but you need three of a kind to get victory points. So for three ones, you get one victory point, three twos, two victory points, three threes, three victory points. For each additional number that you have that matches the three that you have, for instance, if I had three threes and got a, rolled another three, so I actually have four threes in my roll, I would get an additional victory point. I would get the three victory stars for the three threes that I have, and then I get one additional victory star for the additional three. When you resolve your dice, lightning bolts equal energy cubes, these green energy cubes. And the energy cubes let you buy cards, which we're gonna talk about in a minute. The hearts let you heal yourself unless you're in Tokyo City or if you're playing a five or six player game in Tokyo Bay. The last thing on these dice is the claw. The claw would allow you to attack. And to attack, you can only attack monsters in Tokyo City or Tokyo Bay in a five or six player game if you're outside of Tokyo City. Or if you're the monster in Tokyo City, or again, in a five or six player game in Tokyo Bay, then you attack all the other monsters. Now, for buying cards, let's look at the card in detail. The cards can add some really cool strategy to the game. Another thing you can do with your energy cubes is if you spend two green energy cubes, you can wipe and discard all three existing cards that are out in front of the deck and place three new cards out there. It's a great strategy sometimes if you don't like what's out there and you know there's something that would help you win the game. So 
why would a monster want to be king of Tokyo and take that little coveted circle that says Tokyo City, or in a five or six player game, the little circle that says Tokyo Bay? Well, when a monster takes and moves into Tokyo City, they would get one victory star. Whenever a monster starts their turn in Tokyo City, they get two victory stars. When a monster attacks from Tokyo City, or again in a five or six player game from Tokyo Bay, they attack all the other monsters. So why wouldn't someone want to just stay in Tokyo the whole game? When a monster in Tokyo or in a five or six player game in Tokyo Bay gets attacked, they can yield, they can step down from Tokyo City or Tokyo Bay, and they can let the other monster take over and get one victory point. That way the monster can heal. Because the biggest thing while you're in Tokyo City or in a five or six player game, Tokyo Bay, your monster can't heal by rolling hearts. The only way they can heal is they have to have a card that specifically says they can heal themselves. It has to be from a card, not the dice. You wanted to wipe all the cards out of there with two. You can do that so we don't those go away. That's a lot. That's a nice card. Alright, here we go. Time to get Danielle out of the game. Heart. So I don't need them. I need one. If you play a game of King of Tokyo with five or six players, not only can one monster take and be King of Tokyo, but you can have two monsters be King of Tokyo. You now happen to have Tokyo Bay be part of Tokyo. The monsters who are in Tokyo City and Tokyo Bay can't fight each other because they're both in Tokyo. All the other monsters, when they roll claws, they attack both monsters at the same time. When the monster in Tokyo Bay attacks, they only attack the monsters who aren't in Tokyo. They can't attack the monster in Tokyo City. Same goes for the monster in Tokyo City. When they attack, they attack all the monsters not in either Tokyo City or Tokyo Bay.
So one last thing, let's talk about strategy a minute. I know this is your game and you're going to be able to decide what strategy you want to take. But one thing I like about this fun little game is you can roll the dice and you always get rewarded with something. So for strategy, you can take on the aggressive role and attack all the other monsters to try to be the last monster standing. Or you can be sneaky and buy cool cards that let you get victory points very quick. Or you can just roll the dice and get your three threes and additional threes and try to get victory stars that way. Well, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this episode of Modern Table Gamer. If you want, you can find other videos like this on moderntablegamer.com and at our YouTube channel. Feel free to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And as always, if you're not playing games at least once a week, the planets will not align and will never achieve world peace. Arigatou gozaimasu! So first, you're gonna roll the dice. No one's in Tokyo, just to let you guys know when you start the game. If some, whoever decides to move there, it would keep, if you keep one claw, you get to move into Tokyo. I think it's very disturbing how much enjoyment you get out killing me in game.